Hello everyone and welcome back to a very late new episode of The Guide. And you can see the guy who I'm talking about. It's Starkiller. So we'll guide you through that in 15 minutes. I did that recently. Um, the farming took a bit long time because it's on my OG account. It's my smallest account of the three and therefore it's currently not on that high priority. So checking off the mods from Mara Jade, 307 speed was checking for the event if I could do something better. You see it's just one 6e mod on the speed arrow and there was actually nothing better I could apply in this case. So in principle I did check the mods, main goal was to 15a them, if possible 6e them, and go from there. So, hopping in. And tier 1 is actually extremely easy. As you will see, you start with the third ability, target the Wookie, second ability, and go. And that's in principle it. Because that here is really silly simple. Whatever happens, either JKL is blinded, the Wookiee is out almost. So it's easy to take out all the others. JKL next, just to be on the safe side. Again AoE. So even the stun doesn't hurt. R2 next. Lando and then good old Han. And do it like in episode 7. Kiss him goodbye. So, as I said, pretty simple. Tier 2 with Darth Talon. So here I think there was a little bit more of some updates, which means, again here, speed check and slicing. Actually got lucky that it rolled on speed on that one. And on a speed arrow you can't do anything wrong if you slice it up to 6a. So 6k speed, 269 speed. And slicing that one also up. And that's already enough to go. Actually, the speed rolls were pretty good, so my impression was to give them a go on 6a. A little bit more offense, a bit more speed, plus one. So even here the secondary offense is quite nice. So... Let's go. So maybe I targeted Nihilus there and basic him, ability block, so almost all his protection was off, but in principle you want to get Nihilus out as fast as possible, just to avoid the annihilation from Nihilus. So try to ping down Cyan as fast as possible, because he is always taunting, so you have in principle, no other choice. Just using all the abilities. In principle, uh, you're not doing wrong if your ability block also Cyan, because you don't want him to hail by hatred. Treya is actually a little bit annoying, but as you can see, we are good. So, and here, only basic. We don't want Nihilus to have any additional ability available. Keep him ability blocked. And you're good. So big hit and from here it's easy. Uh, 
In principle, I would ability block her also. Just she, she doesn't do any fancy stuff. And even here. You saw, easy peasy. On dash, I had to do some minor reworks. As you can see, the mods on him were not the worst ones. But it can always be a little bit better. So filtering for speed once again and checking the speeds I have on him. And actually, as my speed mods were slower, I also added the health mods just to see where we are and try to improve as much as possible. So you see some significant speed increases already. And getting the last mod in. So also uh, was quite lucky with the speed rolls that we were about 15. And still not there yet, as you can see, they are not fully rolled. So actually the cross is not the greatest one, but still 307 speed, an increase of 21. There are worse things in the world. Also a little bit more offense. And as usual, speed arrow, you can always slice it up. So that's actually a potency cross. Anyways. Also slice the Offense mod here. Because you're not doing anything wrong with these slices. So 311 speed. There are much faster dashes out on the field, but for the event we are pretty fine. And so in principle here it's also quite simple. Use the specials, keep hitting, and although I have a potency mod on him, potency cross, you will see him once or twice dodging, which is not nice, but it can happen. So there was the dodge, the first one. I think there was a second one. So on AOEs, you are not in a problem. Yeah, that was the second one, which is a little bit annoying. But it is what it is. And coming to the end boss. Relatively easy. Try to stun him with the middle. And you're good. As you see, absolutely no issue. So for the next tier, I did some more work on Kyle Katan. Um, I have him modded fully for health in that case. And also again, of course, speed checks. And I think, as far as I remember, I switched the one or the other mod, for example, that one, because I wanted him to have more speed. And it was exactly one mod which was not that good. So 
checking the inventory and see if that rolls on speed, which did. So another reason to put that on. So no reason to change the triangle. And the square is also something minor speed, but with the roll on 6e you're on a good shape. It has a lot of potential. And due to the knowledge I had from my other accounts how difficult it could be, I 6 e all his mods. The speed rolls were actually good, as you can see. And it is worth it for the event and in general for territory battles, territory war, grand arenas. It's huge. And if you have the Omicron for territory wars on him, even better. So 277 speed, that's fine. 68k health, 79k protection. That's the point where I think it's okay. So starting off, again versus the Sith Triumvirate. Doing the first big hit, the third ability, straight on Sion. Then try to get him out ASAP. As said, he will taunt anytime soon. And that's why I decided to go for him. Wanted to get the protection from Nihilus off. And as long as there is no taunt, I'm focusing on Nihilus. As said, he is the most dangerous one with his annihilation. So you see the reason why I 6 e all the mods. He was down in the yellow. Nihilus is out, focusing on Treya to get off that isolation. No taunt still on Cyan. So Treya almost down. And here we go. So 6 e the mod seem to be relatively necessary for him. And also basic, just have the ability block, big hits, and here we go. Done. So the last tier with the borrowed star killer is relatively easy. You just want to do once the specials and then basic it out till you get to the 100 stacks. 68, just moving forward. Oh, hold on, that was too far. 75, yeah, almost there. So we can see also the footage here. And keep on basicing. I, I used here and there some specials, which was not really necessary. The basic does the job, as you can see. Even if you have the impression, oh, it's going to be hairy, he's in the yellow, no worries. Also, when he's in the red here, it's all fine. And there you got the ultimate, there we go. End of the story. Here we go. Star Killer unlocked. It's really simple. Just get the requirements fulfilled. So in case of any questions, feel free to ask, leave a thumbs up and a comment below. And if I can help, just let me know. Thanks a lot and see you soon. Have a great day. Bye bye.